So I have made Game of Thrones eggs for you, I've made Yoshi eggs for you, I've made Harry Potter eggs for you, and I've even made Pokemon eggs for you. And that leaves us with just plain old Easter egg decorating. But it could never be that simple. I need to make it a little bit more complicated and a little bit more geeky because that's just who I am. So I went on Pinterest and I found all kinds of really amazing projects and I'm just going to show you a few of them today. I've got something for the beauty geeks out there, I've got something for the science geeks out there, I've got something for the comic book geeks out there, and I've got something for the fandom geeks out there. You can still do any of these in time for Easter. As long as you're watching this before Easter, because if you're watching it after Easter, I can't really help you. I don't have a time machine, I'm not the doctor, but maybe it'll be helpful for next year. Anyways, it is all right here, right on my channel, right in this video. Aren't you happy that you stumbled upon this video? I am. So, stay tuned. Okay, let's start with baking soda egg decorating for the science nerds. And this is very much an experiment on my part because I'd never tried this before. And it really works on the combination of baking soda and vinegar. You're gonna need baking soda, vinegar, food coloring, and hollow eggs. So put some vinegar in a small container and add a little bit of food coloring to it so it's really dark. And then put your egg inside the baking soda and cover it with a little bit, just wedge it in there as best you can. So we're just gonna pour the vinegar on top of the egg and the baking soda and hope that some of the dye catches the baking soda and the egg and foams and creates a cool pattern with that. And let's see it um, again a little bit faster. There we go. So it wasn't dyed on one side, so I put more vinegar and dye together and poured it on again. And tried to mush some of the baking soda onto the egg. And it was a big mess, basically. Not my favorite <laughs> project. But I created this and it kind of dried interesting and gray. So the next one is nail polish egg decorating. We're not just going to paint the eggs. We're going to use all this beautiful nail polish and some water, some room temperature water. And you're going to drip in your nail polish. And then I got a little bored with dripping because it was taking forever. So I ended up just pouring in a bunch like this. And then you're just going to layer other colors. Um, I try to use really eastery and neon colors. And the best colors were actually the ones that came from Walmart and Target, the cheaper ones. The nicer polishes actually did not float as much. And then you're going to use a toothpick to sort of swirl everything around and marbleize it. Then you're just going to dunk your egg in and hopefully it'll catch the nail polish at the top. And I think using um, hard boiled eggs for this would work better because they will sink better. And see, I did it a couple more times, tried some different color combinations. And this was actually Insta Dry nail polish, and that was definitely harder to use because it dried so quickly. See, I'm having even more trouble with this one. But they came out okay. A little clumpy. I think I just need some practice. Next is decoupage decorating for the comic book geeks. You're gonna need a weird egg holder, some Mod Podge, a paintbrush, and the comic pages because I didn't want to tear up a comic book. You also need an egg. So I put the egg in the contraption to hold it and then I tore up a bunch of little pieces of the comic strips, just tiny pieces. And I put on a layer of Mod Podge and it's just started pressing the pieces down into an interesting into an interesting pattern and covered it with some more Mod Podge until the whole egg was covered. And here's how it turned out, not the most glamorous egg. Finally we've got the painted egg decorating and this is for any type of geek. You're gonna need this contraption again. All the paints, every paint, any kind of paint, all the colors, some paint brushes, and so I just basically went into different fandoms and found icons to paint. This is the golden egg from Willy Wonka. This is Yoshi's egg from Super Mario. And 
This is Togepi's egg from Pokemon. And this one is what I'm calling my fandom egg because I basically colored it with a base color and then drew all kinds of really interesting symbols like Zelda, the Zelda Triforce. Um, and this is a little bow tie from Doctor Who. This is the Earth symbol from Stargate. And we've got the symbol of the Deathly Hallows from Harry Potter. And the great thing about this particular project is you can do whatever you want. You don't have to do anything that I did. Paint whatever you want for your fandom. So there's the golden egg and Yoshi's egg and Togepi's egg and a rainbow egg that I made and a little rabbit because it's Easter. And here's my fandom egg. I love it. It's great. It's my favorite. Guys, this is the last video in my Geeky Easter series. I've loved baking them and I have plenty of ideas brewing, so don't worry about more content. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed them and come back for the next one. Was that good enough? That is the question. That is the question. You can see how beautiful. Well, no, it's not.